Hey guys, what's up? It's Tom here from Sazerac Gaming, and this is a video on the GTA 5 confirmed. Oh, damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Sorry. This is a video on the GTA 5 confirmed facts, and what's going to be in five things that will be in the game, and five things that won't that we've seen before. Um, so I'm going to put some GT this GTA 4 gameplay in the background, just because I don't want you guys getting too bored. Um, oh my gosh, oh, oh, yeah, I don't want you guys getting too bored while you're listening to me, um, but crap, let's get in this car, okay, okay, so yeah, I'm playing GTA 4, I could play Valde Gate only, but I mean, GTA 4 is probably the better one to play for this video, okay, so the first thing, I'll put a screenshot on now quickly, the screenshot that I'm talking about is bikes, um, so, screenshots have confirmed that cycle bikes will be returning to the series. Um, the one in the picture is a road bike with lower slung handlebars. Um, it's obviously a vehicle for speed. Um, but the, B B the BMX hasn't been spotted yet. Uh, that If that does return, which we think it will, um, it should return from San Andreas. Um, we're also going to see motorbikes, as usual, um, including the Sanchez, which is the off-road dirt bike, and we'll probably see a mix of superbikes, um, like the ones in GTA 4. Um, the map size as well, so this is the stuff we're talking about that is going to be in the game. <laughs> uh, map size, Rockstar are promising a ridiculously huge open map, which will take their sandbox style game to a completely new level. Um, Game Informer has stated that the new version of Southern California will be bigger than the worlds of San Andreas, GTA 4 and Red Dead Redemption combined. Now, if you think about it, it's, it's just tiring to think about that. I mean, it's, it's tiring just thinking about how many hours of exploration will be required to like cover every corner of the enormous map. Um, the developers have even created a fully explorable and detailed ocean floor. Uh, so this, all of this shows that Rockstar really want their game to stand out. Now number three is playable car carriers, carriers, characters. <laughs> three playable characters. Grand Theft Auto V is the first GTA game to offer multiple play playable characters right at the start. Uh, Michael is the career criminal, uh, now living in luxury on a witness protection program. Trevor is an impulsive drug user and low life who worked with Michael back in the day. And Franklin is a young kid from the southern suburbs um, of Los Santos doing repo for Armenian luxury car dealers. Throughout the game, players will be able to swap control between each character. Um, so when you're not in control of any well, of a character, that character will go about their daily routines. So you might have seen that in the trailer. Um, just stuff like, I don't know, going on bike rides, um, getting chased by the cops, stuff like that. Um, number four, side missions and activities. So GTA 5's main missions are said to be heavily focused on heists, but we'll be getting a side dose of minigames, uh, missions and activities. There's no property buying like there was in GTA San Andreas, but the game houses, as Rockstar says, a vibrant and fun economy, which includes the familiar arms brand Ammunition and uh, a range of clothing stores. An impressive array of activities um, should leave us no shortage of things to do. Um, so stuff like yoga, triathlons, jet skiing, base jumping and tennis um, are among those mentioned. And uh, number five, five final five, flying. Uh, the series creator Dan Hauser has said previously that this will be the biggest Grand Theft Auto to date, and that's all. So we can do more flying. A screenshot shows um, the one I'm showing now, what looks like a commercial airliner, um, which is pilot piloted by Trevor at that time, uh, which is alongside a fighter jet with an airship in the background. Uh, so we could potentially take control of all three, um, which would be really, really fun. Um, lots of possibilities. So let's move on to the darker note, things we won't see. Um, so sadly, we say farewell to the likes of Carl Johnson, Tommy Pacchetti, 
and Claude. These names will live in the hearts of gamers worldwide forever. Sorry, that sounded really bad. But um, the five PS2 games are one universe, and this is the high definition universe, so they don't coexist. Said Rockstar co-founder Dan Hauser to Game Informer. Um, I'm a bit confused by that, given that rapper J.C. on Carol Taylor, the guy who voiced Beat Up in GTA San Andreas, has claimed he's on board Grand Theft Auto V. However, we can guess that he's most likely voicing a new character, or doing what he does best, recording some rap for the radios of GTA V. On the other hand, I expect to see characters from GTA IV arriving on the scene. Um, so people like Yusuf, Brucey, or maybe some of the McCreary's, etc. But probably not people like Nico, uh, just because they they probably won't bring in main characters to a new game. It just doesn't normally work like that. Um, so, second thing we won't see is celebrities. Um, so, how's that as explained to Game Informer that they've done two or three movie shoots for the game, spread out through various three week shoots, uh, but he doesn't think there would be many celebrities that would be available even if he wanted to spend the money on them for the amount that they would have used them for. Uh, so he also feels that the presence of a big name can be creatively counterproductive. Um, so when they went to PS3 and 360, he thinks it would become a distraction if you were like, well, that's a famous person. Suddenly, these characters start to feel like they were alive and a lot more... Oh, sorry. <laughs> feel like they were alive a lot more. And you need that to sell them. Um... I reckon as long as you have good actors, not knowing them actually is kind of an advantage um, because it kind of brings the game to life more if you don't know who these people are. They're kind of like new celebrities. Um, okay, number three, property buying or territories. So there have been some rumours that you can actually buy properties. That is false. The last time we were in San Andreas, the city was uh, full of rivalry, split into different gang territories. As CJ, you could overrun another gang's territory by venturing within, starting a fight and taking out a few ways of reinforcements. Um, but it did get pretty repetitive. It was also possible in San Andreas to buy in individual properties. But GTA 5 have abandoned those ideas, presumably with a view to focusing on the story. Um, Dan Hauser commented that we're definitely going to have a very vibrant and fun economy. Uh, said that earlier. From earlier in the game to after you've completed everything. There won't be property, but there will be loads of other stuff. Uh, number four of what we won't have, no romance. So Hauser has decided to withhold the possibility of player-initiated romance. For the moment, at least. Uh, he doesn't think that there'll be any romance, just because of the nature of the characters. Um, they weren't sure it would work. Um, they're definitely doing lots of other new stuff, though. Um, they would definitely bring it back in the future, and it just felt like it would be overly complex. That's what Hauser said about romance in the game. And fifth and final thing that we won't have in GTA V. Uh, is no character customization. As Michael, Trevor, and Franklin, 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 are fully fleshed out characters uh, with specific skills and traits, GTA 5 will not have the RPG style players customization that was seen in San Andreas. Uh, this is pretty much understandable as a working RPG system of weight, height, and build of three characters would be extremely difficult on a technical level. Um, but also just the fact that they've pre-built characters um, in the game, so they can't, you can't really change much apart from the fact that players will be able to customise the three protagonists with a whole range of clothing. Um, so that was pretty much it for this video guys. Uh, I hope I helped with all this info on GTA 5. Pretty pumped for it on Tuesday 17th. Um, I pre-ordered it, so I should be doing a video, first time I play it, I'll probably do a video uh, as soon as possible, um, but keep in mind I do have uh, a college on um, on that day, so I have to do it when I go home. Um, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was useful for you guys, goodbye.
please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I won't steal Ben's subscribe thing because it's his now, and it's pretty cool. But yeah, um, thanks guys for watching.